Today on the Lives of Animals, we learn how fucked up it is to be a flying fish. You'll also meet a goat that's training to become a ninja. And Randy will be sharing how he managed to get 100 Sheila guinea pigs fucking pregnant in a night. What's a fucking hippopotamus? Oh, this fucking junky crap. Oh, it's a snake. Here we have kangaroos doing bugger all as usual. Two of them decide to have a fight and kick each other in the balls. It doesn't go on to solve anything. Meanwhile, over at the beer fridge, a huntsman has found himself a bar snack. Letting these big fuck off spiders breed in your house means you always have a cost effective mouse trap. I bloody hate it when you're having a good time as a kid and then your parent wants to get involved. It's like fuck off mum, there's a weight limit on the trampoline. Then dad says, oi, don't call your mother fat. You're like, that's not what I said, ouch, fuck off dad. Imagine being born as a flying fish. You can't go in the water because the big fish will eat you. And you can't use your fancy wings because the birds are gonna eat you. Whenever I have a tough day, I just think of this little bastard. It is utter bullshit. Look at this, lunchtime. I'm so glad my parents were not flying fish. Oh, there's a buffalo. He's either getting a gobby or being munched on. I think it was a gobby because there's suddenly a big jealousy fight between lions and lionesses and the buffalo says, fuck this, I'm heading back to the club. I've still got some energy. Now, just how did Randy manage to hook up with 100 beautiful guinea pig sheilas? He says, fuck you, as if I'm going to share my secrets. Fair play, Randy. Andy. Fair play. The moral of the story is it doesn't matter if you're a chubby guinea pig or a goat with freaky ninja skills, there's someone out there that's gonna love you. Unless you're a flying fish because your life is too fucking short to get anything done. <laughs>